What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Forza Horizon 5 here in Mexico. Today I think we're going to do a little chill video. Um, you can see we're driving on the inside of a car. Oop, that's the wrong button. Uh, we are inside the 350Z um, that is the Forza Edition one. It is the 23, 20, 2003 Nissan Fairlady Z Forza Edition. Um, specced up in okay, this nice off-road. Didn't mean to do that either. I don't know the easiest way to control this. Okay, so um, I'm actually on my Logitech G923 steering wheel right now. Um, I think I'm just gonna do a nice little drive around Horizon or around Mexico um, to you know get some of the car or get some of the roads rather that we haven't gotten yet so but what better of a chance to you know bust out the wheel take a nice casual drive see how the wheel does in horizon 5 and bring you guys along for that ride so let's go ahead and get into it i think i'm gonna take a picture right here because that's actually a really good shot of the 350 a nice 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 shot there actually so all right let's go ahead and jump back into it um i wish i had like a better setup to, to do like a wheel disabled. cam for you, but um, I mean, unfortunately, I don't. So, jumping in here, we're gonna do inside for the most part. So, let's see what we've got as far as roads around here. So, we've got one down here. It's hard to do with this wheel with the little D pad. I wish I had an analog stick, which would be nice. So, we've got one there, and then we've got a dirt road as well over here. Got an asphalt road to the left, but we may come back to that in a second. So the wheel does feel really good on this game from the little bit that I played with it. Something I definitely want to note is when I started it up, the throttle was like all the way down, like without me putting any input. And the same for the brake. So if you're having that at same issue, this acceleration axis dead zone inside is what fixed that for me. You just want to turn that up. I started at like 70 and it just kind of worked my way down until it wasn't like accelerating by itself anymore. So just be wary of that. Um, the same with the brake. Um, you'll just do the deceleration axis dead zone. So um, easy enough there. Um, you can obviously change a bunch of different settings here. Uh, but yeah, so let's go ahead and jump back into it. Just my little tip for the day. So just need this little bit here, and we'll see how many roads we're missing. So we are 405 out of 578. So we've got quite a bit to go. Let's turn around here. We may not do all of them in this video. I just kind of wanted to drive around and, you know, just have some fun on the wheel. Not do anything super crazy, but just see how this wheel kind of holds it. If you hear, or if you feel any, sh not feel any shakes, you may hear shakes. Woo! Ooh, bit that one. All right, not a great, not a great drive through there. Again, this is the first time I've driven on the wheel in this game, so still kind of getting used to it. Trying to use the wheel a little bit more is what I'd like to do, um, just for some fun in Horizon 5. Um, let me know if you guys have any ideas for how I can incorporate the wheels or wheel into um, some videos and what you guys would like to see. Let's go ahead and get this XP board while we're over here. All right, we're just gonna cut through here, actually. We're gonna do the asphalt road down to the left. Skirt. All right, take a left. Hard left. This car sounds so good on the inside. You can hear those turbos spooling up. Ah. Huh. Still have our horn, which is nice. I'm trying to just keep it a little casual, keep it on the road. You don't necessarily need to, because this is Horizon, all right? But... Ooh, we're gonna... Oh, no, we brake, got brakes just in time for that turn. Just barely. Oh, I tried to help pull the e-brake there. Didn't really work. Oof. Weird being on the right side of the car, too. It's a different perspective for sure. And we're probably going to swap cars a few times in this video just to see how different ones drive. Obviously this is the Forza Edition 350Z. I haven't done any kind of upgrades to it. This is how it comes stock. You can tell it's got a really soft suspension just by the way when I accelerate. 
you know, that front end comes like right up. Um, but it's also rear wheel drive, which is usually not what I like to drive. Uh, but I'm definitely trying to get more used to it here in Horizon 5. Um, I'm not saying that I'm great, but we're working on it. So let's see if there's any other thing that we're missing over here. I do have my controller handy, and um, we can look around the map a little faster. There is another off-road over here, and then we've got one over here. We've got a little bit of this road to do. I think I might swap cars to do that. Um, just because it's a little bit windy asphalt, and it probably would be more fun on a different car. But let's go ahead and drive over here now. So we just need to dart down this way, take a right for a, just a second, and then right once that gets there, we can turn it around. I'm just spinning up those wheels, oh my goodness. Just getting that back and forth bob, let off the gas a little bit to get it back under control. This thing definitely spins the tires, especially on the dirt. So we're going to go up here and take a lift onto this dirt road. Try to be a little bit more under control here. If you get car sick or motion sick, you might not want to watch going over those bumps. Looks like we've got some more coming up right here. Oop, get off us, log. Ooh. Ooh -wee. A little too much power there. Yeah, I don't know how people do this. Like, there's people that can play, like, a, the dirt rally games and just absolutely murder, like, courses that are way more technical than this. And I just don't understand how much skill that takes is crazy. All right, let's get back out here to the asphalt and we will swap to a different car and continue our journey. All right, next car is gonna be the 2016 Porsche Cayman GT4. We unlocked this in our Wheel Spin Wednesday video. So we're gonna take it out for a spin and see what it can drive like. So this is completely stock. Let's get a few revs. Wow. If you aren't wearing earphones, definitely suggest getting some earphones to put on. All right, let's go ahead and get it going. This is another rear wheel drive car, so we're gonna have to take it kind of chill. We're not gonna necessarily follow that line that it's taking us to right now. Um, we're gonna take a right at this first intersection. This feels much better to drive on the, on the road than that 350 did. So right here, we're going to take a right, honk at that guy in the Supra. Turn around when it is safe to do so. And we're just going up this way because it is the road that we need to be on Recalculating route. to finish out yards. a little bit. Turn left. Online seemed a lot more stable today. Uh, they did patch the game on the 17th. I think you're going to see this video on the 18th or 19th. Oh, nope, we don't want to go that way. We want to go this way. This keeps trying to get us back off course. Turn around so. when it is safe to do so. But yeah, uh, they definitely patched it, and online seems a little more stable. Um, so it's good for that. Um, I figured oop, we're going to get any of these bonus boards that we can as we're out. Oh, can't break through that. All right, put it in reverse, Terry. All right, we have 103 out of 200 bonus boards. So not doing super great there, but you know, we're making progress. All right, back on the road. We got 1.8 miles to where I put the waypoint at at least. We do have another bonus board on the way there. If we can't open it up a little bit. Oh yeah. She feels real good around the corners. We got a bonus board. We're at the ruins here. I don't know if this is an easy one to get or not. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, it's a very easy one to get. 
trying to get my controller in range so we can look around a little bit. It really does not like looking around though. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it does not. Not a big fan of looking around with a controller while you're driving. You see that? Oh my goodness. Okay, that's enough to give somebody a headache. All right, another bonus board down. Let's go over here, take our Porsche through the woods a little bit. Oh, I'd be so sad. All right, let's go. I hope you guys can't really hear the steering wheel. It's like the microphone's pretty close to it. This new microphone though is really good at noise canceling because it's a dynamic microphone. So I can be talking like somewhat next to it and it not pick up very well. So I'm hoping that you guys can't really hear the, uh, the steering wheel because it is a gear driven one. It's not necessarily the quietest thing. So it does have force feedback. I'll put a link down in the description below if you're interested in checking it out. Not the newest generation of Logitech wheel, but it's still a very viable option if you're just new to uh, sim racing or if you just want a wheel to use that has force feedback. It's definitely a very viable option. Arrived at your destination. If you're looking for something a little more professional, you know, you might want to look elsewhere, but you know, this wheel is really good for what I have it for. And that's just, you know, entry level. Did we pass up a fast travel board? Seems like we did. But yeah, it's very good for just entry level. Like, you know, I play racing games with the wheel. Not very often, so perfect for me. Enough to where I can use it in in some games and you know not have to break the bank for it. Oh, we're gonna take the Porsche real off road now. Oh, if you're a Porsche lover, don't watch. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, we had to get the board though. All right, that's the bridge up there. That's crazy. I love this map so much. I love how diverse this map is. So let's go ahead and take a look at where we can go next. So we've got quite a bit up here that we don't have um, unlocked. It's going to be really hard to get that all in one swoop. So I think some of that's off road. Let's just drive up to here and then maybe we'll come back and switch cars and do. It's really hard to tell what of that is off road though. So, I don't know. We'll just drive up to here and see where that takes us after that. We'll probably swap cars. Uh, but yeah, so we're just going to continue in the GT4. I may turn my mic down and then just turn the car volume up just so you guys can hear it a little better and enjoy the ride up into that next waypoint. yards you will arrive at your destination. All right, there we go. Another road you down. Hope you guys enjoyed that little drive. Um, let's see. I guess let's go. Hmm. I have so many just little random bits of road that are missing. So looks like a lot of this is going to be asphalt. Um, I'll tell you what, let's finish out this little road here 
and we'll come back and get this little section but i am going to swap cars real quick so i'll be right back all right so next car jumped into the mazda rx7 here completely stock still has the nice rotary engine in it so we'll see how it does again we're just going to do this little bit and then we'll swap cars again kind of go through the like different cars like that so let's listen to it good old rotary engine there dennis drill all right nice pop-up headlights up ahead of us i swear the golden era of cars is gone i really miss pop-up headlights I wish they could come back in style. Maybe one day they will. Pop up LED headlights. Ooh, she's wanting to drift out already. Okay. Turn right. Hey, calm down there, little RX-7. We're going to go this way real quick just to finish off this little bit of road. And Turn that around. should get it. it. Yeah. So. Nice little e-brake there. Ooh. All right, so I'm just going to drive to a destination there and let you listen to the car here. Uh, more so, I just want this to kind of be like a car sounds video as well as, you know, just kind of getting some roads done and, you know, seeing how the G923 does here in Horizon 5. I am playing on the PC. Um, so the G923 and the G920, no, the G29, I think, is the PS version or the PlayStation version. Both work on the PC, uh, as well as their respective consoles, so you can't just plug them in and they should work pretty easily. Again, I had to do some tuning on mine, but I don't know if that's something that's expected or what, so. I'm just driving through this drift zone, but like I said, I'm going to turn the volume down here and, oop, there's the Civic, okay. Um, turn the volume down here and let you kind of listen to the rotary engine for a bit. Civic. So now let's see. Change out cars again. The Civic, I know it's probably a cardinal sin to drive that the RX7 and not drift in a drift zone. Um, but you know, again, we're just kind of casually driving today. So let's swap out for something a little more off-roady. Alright. Next option here, or next car, not next option, is the Exoset, I think is how it's pronounced. This is the Force Edition one that we unlocked in one of our Will Spin Wednesday episodes. So, we're going to try it out. We used it in the Eliminator and it worked out really well there. Um, it was a really awesome off road car. Kind of bounced around and did all, everything that you could. Um, so, let's go into the map here. Um, I guess we'll go take that off or knock that little chunk out. Um, we do have a little bit up here that we need to get, but maybe we'll get that at some point today. So we'll go get that, and then we'll come over here to this piece and try to get all of this long line and some of those other roads there. So, go ahead and give this a shot. I think this is the first all-wheel drive car that I've driven right now with the wheel, I think. I'm trying to think of what the middle one was. I can't remember. The Porsche. So no, this is the first all-wheel drive vehicle that I've used um, with the wheel. Ooh. He's spinning. Okay. Turn around when it is safe Got a little to too so. confident there, going a little Turn too fast. When it is safe to do so. All right. 
This is obviously an off-road vehicle too, so it probably didn't have the best tire tread for asphalt. I'm not saying that I'm going to drive it any better on the dirt, but... Alright, let's go back inside. Oh, this thing sounds... the sounds of this game are just so good. Turn left. So let's see. Let's go up here. We'll start from over here. So we're just going to keep driving. Get back inside with the wheel. Oh man. 400 yards. Turn right. Turn right. Woo! Too much. Too much. Too much. Okay. We're back in control. Let's see what does off road. Oh, this water might... Okay. We're good. Turn left. Okay, now I'm gonna need to take that waypoint off. Okay. Let's go ahead and just set it for down over here. Um, okay. Well, that's not necessarily the way I'm gonna go. But... Nice try. The game should just know what I want, right? All right, here we go. Off-roading, hardcore rally racing here. Yards. All right, what did we get there? Is that just one star? Yeah. Okay. Figured as much. We weren't really trying, so. Turn left. Nope. We're going straight. We'll just say that we broke broke there for you know, road crossing, it's right? Safe to do so. I will not turn around. Thanks for the new waypoint, or GPS route. Ooh. Should have used the brakes a little bit better there. I don't know how I got an XP board here, but I don't have any of this road discovered. It doesn't make much sense. Oh, I guess I have a little chunk of it. Okay. Where Super Seven is apparently. All right. You have arrived at your destination. Okay. So let's see what other little off-roady sections we have through here. Well, that might be asphalt actually. So, other than this little line here, just drive up and do that real quick. We'll get this little chunk done, and then we'll swap into another road car. And then we may just call it a video. We got a good amount done. Not like all of them, but you know, just little chunks at a time. And obviously we're going to get some of the uh, roads completed as we do races and stuff. But just wanted to kind of get some more of this done. I'd like to get more fast travel boards. I need to go through and just find all of those. I might do that like off screen because that can save me a ton of money now that I have the fast travel house. Um, where I can just jump around to the different roads. So, all right, let's go back to the asphalt. We'll pick one more car and we'll pick an asphalt car and try to finish out this little section of the map here. So I will see you guys in just a second in a new car. Okay, we've swapped cars. I'm gonna give you guys a little test. 
Let me know if you can tell what car this is. I've got the wheel turned so it covers up one of the gauges. Um, but I want to see if you guys can tell by the sound of the car. You can't tell. There's another hint on the gauge there. SV. We did unlock this car in our last Wheel Spin Wednesday video, so don't know what it is now. That's okay. I mean, the sound, it's pretty good. It really is, but not everybody's a car guy. So we'll go outside. Lamborghini Murcielago, Murcielago SV. So a super sick V12 engine here in the Mercy. And this is what, I don't think it's a bad way to end out this little driving video so let's go ahead get a waypoint and we'll be on our way all right here we go 200 yards turn right we're going straight here turn right oh listen to that v12 though oh boy howdy Yeah, if you tell me that the sounds in this game aren't great, I think you might be deaf, quite honestly. So, I'll shut up and drive the rest of this, and I may just drive around and get some of these other roads, uh, depending on... Uh, let's stop here for a second. This is just a little offshoot. Oop, that's a dog. Don't hit the dog. There's a bonus board back here, so we're just going to drive back here. Visit Uncle Lester. And smash his bonus board, and then we're going to dip out in our Lamborghini. Alright. Back on the road. I'll pull down my microphone volume, put up the game volume, so you guys can listen to this V12 scream. arrived at your destination. Turn around when it is safe to do so. In 400 yards, turn left. Turn left. arrived at your destination. So we'll end it here, going into the tunnel. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, definitely leave a like on the video. Definitely let me know if you want to see more of this kind of content on the channel. You know, we can always, even after we discover the roads, just definitely go around and just drive with a lot of different cars um, with the wheel and the interior and stuff like that. So I hope you guys do have a great rest of your day, and we will see you in the next video.